evening, everyone. Welcome to News 2 at 6. I'm Bob Mueller. Catalytic converters have been prized items for thieves for some time now here in Tennessee. Well, thieves hit again, this time targeting churches. News 2's Tori Gessner joins us in studio with strange surveillance video of this latest crime. Tori? Bob, this catalytic converter theft happened in Goodlettsville, stolen off a church's bus on Tuesday around 4 in the morning. Converters are most commonly found in exhaust systems on cars. This thief gets to the scene of the crime using a much different mode of transportation. Driving a car makes you a target. Citizens, businesses, I mean, it's affecting everybody. This time, a Goodlettsville church's bus. Surveillance video shows the thief rolling up on a scooter and throwing the stolen converter in a bush. He'll come back for it later in what looks like a dark Hyundai Elantra. He puts the converter in the back seat and the woman driving speeds off. A bold but quick crime. The city of Goodlettsville has seen more than 20 times this year. They'll just jump under there with an the electric saw and they'll cut it off and they'll go around targeting vehicles, research which ones are going for more, and uh, they'll commit the thefts. What makes the converters valuable are the precious metals they're made of. Platinum, palladium, rhodium, selling for top dollar at scrapyards and even on Facebook Marketplace, costing the victim a pretty penny to replace. On average, $1,500. But for this church, it's about more than just money. This church, it's their church bus. It's how they get the kids going from place to place. I mean, it's affecting not only the church, but other businesses as well. Once the converter is gone, it's tough to match it back to the car it was stolen from. And criminals are catching on. There's so many different groups. We'll arrest one group, and then the next thing you know, there'll be another. There's people that they hear about it and they try to go do it, and they can't even cut off the right part, so they'll just damage and vandalize the vehicle. So it's definitely an ongoing problem. If you recognize the man and woman in the video, or you have any information at all, call Goodlettsville Police. Bob.